and did it the way we wanted to do it. We, we wanted to do it in a, in a meaningful way, not not for some you know one-off award show or some network producers ratings, you know, uh, you know, bonanza or whatever. We we you know a lot of people. A lot of people underestimated what we had back in the day. Um, but we didn't underestimate it, and you obviously didn't underestimate it. Um, and I remember, I remember that first time we got back together in a rehearsal studio, and uh, you know, after 15 years, doing that first run-through of new choreography. <laughs> um, I, I got chills up my arm. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, <laughs> I mean, is this really happening? Friday afternoon in Boston.
I found myself at times acting like a frustrated teenager. And um, you know, I uh, it was like it was like a high school reunion. You know, it you the minute you walk through that door, you transform into that goth, that jock, that nerd you were in high school. It's just it's physics, it just happens. So it happened to me, you know, I, I was I was still myself, but I was acting like myself when I was 15. I was interacting with the guys and, and, and I just you know it wasn't I wasn't all bad, but I I I, I kinda you know, I was back in the ring with the boys, you know, and I resharpened one of my greatest defenses. Sarcasm. They call me Joey Sarcazo, which in Latin means to tear flesh. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was kind of ugly for a little while. I mean, it was beautiful, but uh, don't get me wrong. It was, it was all what it seemed, but on the inside, you know how it is. I mean, this, this thing inside your head, whatever. And um, so, um, you know, but it was, it was a lot. It was a lot for me and after a couple of years. You know, it was, I was kind of done. You know, after that summer tour, don't get crazy. <laughs> All right? I know what you guys are, but it's... <laughs> after that, you know, full service summer tour, I was, I was done. You know, I was done. I, and, and, you know, because I was, I was, I started, I started presenting the other guys with crazy issues and not caring enough, caring too much, all this stuff, and I was pointing the finger. You know, I was pointing the finger and it wasn't them. It's like that saying, if you bump into three assholes in one day, you're the asshole. <laughs> and I was the asshole. So it was bad, but I, I was done. You know, I was done, and, and some of that was, was because I just, I had that independent, you know, spirit, and I wanted to, you know, do some things I wanted to do, and do it my way, but, you know, it was mostly because of those issues I was talking about. And, um, but instead of walking away, I, I focused on me. And um, you, lately I go, I go on for the, you know, these long runs. And, and when I run, I get clear. Woo! I get clear and I, I feel very self-sufficient. I, all my, Codependency start to fade away, and I'm enough. And so, I've got to be honest, and I've got to be all in, or else I'm not doing what's best for us. There are many, many crazy things that keep me loving you. And with your permission, may I list a few? The way you wear your hat, <coughs> the way you sip your tea.
the way you changed my life. No, they can't take that away from me. No, they can't take that away. I won't take that. Can't take that away Anything for one kiss, anything for I. 